Right here, I have a very important envelope that I've been waiting to receive, and you guys may want to stay to find out what's in it. So I've been waiting a few days now to receive this awesome package, and I can't wait to show you guys what it is. So right here we have Physarum palsellium, and I might be saying the Latin wrong, but this is a really interesting species of slime mold. Now my slime mold here is not in its plasmodium state, but instead in its dry and dormant state, which is called the Skelteria, which I'm definitely mispronouncing. So to bring this back to its plasmodium state and wake it up, we will be rehydrating and giving it oats as food. We will also be using coffee filter for it to grow out on keeping it in an old cilantro salsa dish. I am now going to cut off a small piece of the Skelterita since the other half can be stored up to a year long and be used at a later date. Now the very last step in bringing our slime mold back to life is to hydrate the coffee filters to wake up our slime mold. Now that I have hydrated the coffee filter, we can place it in our slime mold and then water a little bit extra. It is also very important to provide your slime mold with a food source. In this case, I'll be using rolled oats that I got from Walmart. And now that I've provided my slime mold with the full setup to reawaken, I will check back tomorrow in 24 hours to see what has happened with it. So for some of you who've been watching up until this point, you probably have been wondering, what the heck is a slime mold? Well, a slime mold is neither a fungi, plant, or a living animal, but instead a single cell organism like an amoeba. So basically a slime mold is kind of just a giant living organism. And all these tiny little veins is part of its body. What's really interesting about slime mold is how they can solve puzzles, regenerate themselves, and also self-navigate. Now the slime mold that I'm keeping is not the only species that is found out in nature. There's quite literally thousands and thousands of different species of slime molds that come in all sorts of different shapes and colors. Also a very interesting fact about this type of slime mold, it is very easily to solve puzzles and it was used in Tokyo to rework the subway networks in under 24 hours. The slime mold is able to make a more efficient path in the subway system that it is today. So now that you know a little bit more about slime molds and the science behind them, let's hop into day two. So it has now been 24 hours and as you can tell the slime mold has grown by a lot. Right here you can see how the slime mold has engulfed most of the oats and is now kind of sucking all the nutrients out of the oats. And so far I'm glad the slime mold is growing really well overnight. We're also able to see a lot of the thin membranes and veins that have grown all the way down to the bottom of the coffee filter. So now what I'm going to be doing is carefully cutting up this little oak flake here and putting it in with the slime mold and seeing what will happen again overnight. So now that I am complete with setting in the oats for the slime mold to feed off of, we are going to be again leaving it alone for another 24 hours, but before so, I'll be using a light here to show you a really cool trick that I discovered. Now we will let it sit for another 24 hours and we'll see it again tomorrow. So it has yet again been another 24 hours and as you can already start to see, the slime mold has changed a lot. You can really see how the slime mold has been feeding majorly off of these oats. Well 
One last interesting thing that I was able to capture was the short time lapse of the slime mold pulsating. Hey everyone, I just want to say thank you all for watching today's video. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe if you want to see more awesome content just like this.